do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so as you can see there is a topic which is based on moles and avogadro number so the most important thing is we should understand what is mole actually so let us see what is the definition of mole so mole means one mole of any substance is defined as the amount of a substance that contains the number of particles and that number of particle can be atoms molecules ions or electrons and this number of particles should be equal to the number of carbon atoms present in 0.012 kg of carbon 12 and that is what i am talking about that the number of particles should be 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles so this particles can be electron can be uh, that is uh, proton also as well as the number of ions molecules it can be anything so this is the definition of mole but i have also an numerical or i have also a formula that is based on how to calculate the number of mole of a substance so for that we have the number of mole of substance can be written as in this way that is the mass of the substance divided by the molecular mass of the substance so by this formula we could easily calculate that what would be the number of, of moles of a particular substance for in this instance i have mentioned it as that the number of moles is denoted by the small letter n while the mass of the substance is being denoted by capital w while the molar mass of the substance molar mass or the molar weight of a particular substance is denoted by capital m so this is how the number of moles is written as and again let me tell you that the weight has a unit of gram while that has the molar mass has a unit of gram per mole so in this instance we could easily say that the number of mole has a unit of mole or you could say it as it has no unit so this is the number of moles now talking about the next one that is molar mass so what does the molar mass means molar mass means it is defined as the ratio of mass of one molecule of a substance to the one twelfth mass of one atom of carbon 12 we could easily write it as that is it is equals to mass of one molecule of a substance or of an element of or a compound divided by 1 by 12th mass of one atom of the carbon 12 so this is molar mass which means now talking about the next one that is atomic weight atomic weight can be calculated very easily that is atomic weight is nothing but the mass of one mole of an element or I could say it as the mass of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of the element and since the name of it is atomic weight that is it is related to mass so therefore I could relate it as the unit of gram per mole means it has a unit that one mole of any substance has a particular mass and that's why the unit is said to be gram per mole so this was for one atom of a particular element now talking about the next one that is for molecular weight so molecular weight has a definition of molecular weight is the mass of one mole of a compound or we could say it as mass of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 molecules of the compound so as you know that the molecule is nothing but the smallest particle of the compound so hence again we could estimate the weight of 6.022 into 10 to 23 particles of that particular compound or molecule and hence the unit is said to be gram per mole so this was all related to the number of moles if we know the atomic weight if we know the molecular weight and if we know the mass of a particular compound or of a particular substance it would be very much easy to calculate what would be the number of mole of that substance now talking about the next one that is the final one that is avogadro's number so avogadro's number is nothing but it is represented by the number of particles like atoms molecules electrons or any other species which has a particular mass in one mole of a substance and has a value of 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 so this 10 uh, 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 is nothing but avogadro number and it is uh, denoted by the alphabet that is n a this means avogadro's number and this n a means 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 but it can be for a uh, particular uh, electron it can be for a particular molecule it can be for a particular ion and hence the unit it can be written as that the number of particle for one mole 
and hence this was nothing but the Avogadro number. So the numerical based on this thing we are going to do in the next lecture. So I hope you have understood this concept that is what is moles and Avogadro number. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this concept and don't forget to share with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGeta channel. Thank you so much.